The Fixed Range Volume Profile, or FRVP for short, has long been favored by traders. It shows areas of high and low activity and helps spot points where the market has spent considerable time and where it traded through easily. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the FRVP, how to use it in a trading strategy. Let's break down the key components of the indicator. First up, we have the value area, representing the price range where a specified percentage of total volume has occurred, typically 70%. It demonstrates the levels at which most trading activity has transpired. Then, there's the point of control, or POC, which shows where trading volume peaks. It is usually plotted as a red line. And let's not forget about high and low volume nodes, which represent peaks and troughs in volume at different price levels, respectively. Let's take a look at three ways to incorporate the indicator into a strategy. If you'd like to see how it works for yourself, head over to FXOpen's free tick trader platform. Using the fixed range volume profile in trending markets, traders need to pay close attention to areas of low volume. They are characterized by limited trading activity, often suggesting an imbalance between supply and demand where the market moved rapidly. As such, they create a price gap or vacuum in the profile. An asset's price usually tends to move quickly through these areas in search of high-volume nodes. As such, low-volume nodes can act as powerful directional indicators, pointing to the potential for swift price movements to reach the next high-volume node, where market acceptance is greater. Using high-volume nodes and low-volume nodes for support and resistance trading. High-volume nodes often indicate levels of strong support or resistance as they reflect periods where a significant amount of trading has occurred. Conversely, low-volume nodes, with their relatively lower trading activity, often highlight potential breakpoints. Traders can use high- and low-volume nodes as a basis to establish potential entry and exit points in their trading strategies. For example, a trader may consider entering a short position when the price breaks below an HVN, an area of support. Similarly, an LVN below the current price might be a good target for this short trade, as the price could fall quickly to this level. Using the point of control for support and resistance trading. The point of control represents the price level at which the highest volume was traded over a particular period. This makes it an area of significant market acceptance, which can function as a strong level of support or resistance. In an upward trending market, the POC often acts as a support level, where buyers may enter or add to long positions, expecting the price to bounce back upwards. Conversely, in a downward trending market, the POC can serve as a resistance level, where sellers might consider short positions, anticipating price rejection. FRVP Trading Example In this example, we see the market cooling off after a prolonged uptrend to the left, finishing just on the edge of the chart. The price fell sharply, finding a bottom. Given the distinct high and low points, we can set the indicator to these points. The first area to notice is the point of control, which acted as strong resistance within the multi-day range. The POC area was eventually pierced through, indicating that it may be time for the price to come and meet the low volume node toward the top of the range. Combined with the prior bullishness off-screen, traders could have been confident that the price would at least reach this area, acting as a solid target if they had bought earlier near the POC. If you feel ready to put your fixed range volume profile skills into practice, you can open an FX Open account and gain access to over 600 markets, taking advantage of competitive trading costs and lightning fast execution. Good luck!